اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم In this session, we are going to look into how to perform moderation analysis with categorical independent and categorical moderator variable in Smart PLS. Now, this is the proposed model that I plan to assess where type is whether the respondent is working in public or private sector. Employment is whether he or she has a contract or permanent employment where the dependent variable is collaborative culture. Now, first of all, let's run this model and we are going to come back to these slides in order to interpret the results. Now, here I've got two variables here and one dv, which is my latent variable measured using six items. So as part of this short study, when I'm reporting the reliability and validity, I'm just going to report it for CC because these are categorical predictors and won't have any reliability or validity. Now, in this case, let's run, calculate, bootstrapping, all good, start. Now here are my results. If we look here, you, we can call this one as significant as well. It's, it's very close to 0 0.05. This one is insignificant. Our moderating effect is significant with a negative sign. Now, what do we mean by in this? This is the objective of this particular session. Now type is significant. We can say collaborative culture is higher when people are employed or when people are working in private sector because there is a positive sign pointing to the higher category. Let's move. Let's have a look here. Now, if you look here, I'm not interested in the direct effect of employment on collaborative culture. I'm interested in, interested in the moderating role of employment in the relationship between type and collaborative culture. If you look here, type, type is public and private. Private is one. So there is a positive sign here. This means that this points to the higher category. So collaborative culture is higher or improved when you are in, in a private sector organization. Now, what do we mean by this interaction effect with a negative sign? Now, this means that employment or the type of employment actually weakens the relationship of type and CC. Now, what do we mean by weakening the relationship? Or in other words, when we are doing continuous moderators, we say that increased employment or higher level of employment weakens the relationship between type and CC. So what is the meaning of this? In this case, we've got categorical variables. So we cannot interpret it like that. For this purpose, we have to go to the slope analysis in order to better understand these relationships. Now, if you look here, this is the slope where employment at zero is shown using the red line. Employment at one is based on this green line. Type is your independent variable. CC is your dependent variable. Now, what I said earlier was, if you look here, employment is actually weakening the relationship of type and CC. How? Employment weakens the relationship between type and CC. Okay. This shows that at higher level of employment, that is when you are a permanent employee, that is when employee is permanent, changing the type of organization. So I am permanently employed. Look at this green line employment at one. If I am changing the type, that is, if I'm moving from the public sector to the private sector, there is hardly any change in the collaborative culture. But if you look here at the red line, that is employment at zero, that is when you are employed on contract basis, there is a steeper change from the collaborative for the collaborative culture if 
your type of organization is public to when your type of organization is private. However, at lower level of employment, that is zero shown by the red line, that is when the employee is contractual, CC changes with changing type of organization. So you are changing the CC that is zero and one here. CC is weak for public sector. That is, look at this here, very weak. CC is on the lower side, whereas it is stronger for private sector organizations. So this shows these lines, the steepness of this one line here, the red one shows that with changing type of employment, there is a change in how type influence the collaborative culture. This is how we can run and interpret the categorical moderator with categorical independent variable and continuous dependent variable. Now, when we said that employment weakens the relationship, so if you look here, type private, so collaborative culture is stronger for private organizations. Now, when we increase or change the level of employment, in this case to permanent look at this permanent employee the impact of type on cc is weakening that is cc does not change with changing type which was the case previously so this is how we can interpret such models where you've got categorical predictor and categorical moderator thank you very much